Okay, so I haven't posted any videos in a while, but I came across uh, this video of Tony for a two by nine, um, and I found it extremely disturbing. Uh, and I also heard people defending fundamentalist Christianity for it, and uh, yeah, Richard the Dick Cough and I have a big argument with that. Um, First of all, he was battling a mental illness. Um, well, um, fundamentalist Christianity was what he chose to cling to, to keep whatever little bit of sanity he had. Um, even that can't be uh, blamed, and here's why. Um, his brain wasn't functioning the same way a normal human being's brain works. Um, he was battling depression. I'm, um, from what I'm being told, from what I've seen on the video and the um, several uh, news interviews I've seen with the family, and not only off of what uh, Coughlin posted, but um, what. I've seen on MSNBC, CNN, you know, going to their websites and seeing what they had to say. This person suffered from multiple personality, uh, probably depression, probably manic depression, um, would not take his medication. Um, now, he did this to himself. Christianity, even fundamentalism didn't do this to him. Um, I'm a person, and here's some, okay, I want to be totally honest with people. Um, I dealt with fundamentalist Christians when I was a kid. I was in a group home run by them, and uh, basically, I was living in a country where we have freedom of religion, the United States, and us being forced to pray to a God I didn't believe in, and forced to attend church every Sunday, or I would be punished. Um, either shut, put on shutdown or, which means basically stuck in my room for three to four days, um, extra kitchen duty, uh, other things like that. It really, I was really, really angry at those people and angry at God. Um, I, I'm a, well, agnostic. Um, I don't really blame God for what they did anymore, they were idiots. Um, I've battled depression in my life as well. Uh, well, okay, anxiety disorder. And I took uh, medication for it, still do. Not as much anymore because it doesn't affect me, but I still take my medication. This guy didn't take his medication. I lived with my grandfather. Um, and uh, he was uh, paranoid schizophrenic. Uh, and I'm thinking maybe this guy was too. Uh, he didn't take his medication, and uh, he thought he was Jesus, Cleopatra, Alexander the Great, and the President of the United States all at the same time. Um, and he justified it too, which is weird. Anyway, he also thinks the mafia is after him because he keeps losing money in Vegas. Still does. Don't understand that. Why would the mafia come after you? I'm getting off the subject. Anyway, Tony48219 suffered from mental illness. His problem wasn't Christianity, it was mental illness. His problem wasn't fundamental Christianity, it was illness. Even a fundamentalist, even the fundamentalists you see on television, if they heard about this, they would be disgusted, literally. I know, because I know of you. And they know about what happened, and I've talked to them, and they're disgusted by it. Because, you know, even if you're a fundamentalist Christian, you're not a suicidal maniac or a homicidal maniac. That's, that's, that's for the mentally disturbed and the Muslims, who got their religion all fucked up, too. Mm -hmm. um, they need to go back to their Quran and get their shit straight. Um, just like a lot of Christians, you need to do the same thing, but 
this is a disturbing trend, and um, I think Sean, or Venom Fang X, should be more worried about what he may end up being, or what he may end up doing, than what other people may end up doing to him. I mean, if he ends up being somebody with the same problem, then what's going to happen in Canada, you know? Don't care where you live in Canada. Don't care what your name is. But you need to, like, step back a minute and take a look at the big picture, dude. Because you're stuck there in your narrow little world. And um, that can be something very, very dangerous. Because if you allow faith to warp your mind and fuck you up, then you don't have faith anymore. What you have is a mental delusion. And, well, some people say that faith in it, that's so. Uh, well, no. Faith is not an illusion. Everybody's got to have faith in something. you got to have faith. It's the religion that's the fucked up part. The religion is the delusion. Okay? Not the faith. Okay? You, 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 you. Some people just need to separate faith from religion. Because they're two separate things. I don't, you know, there are some people that understand that, others that don't. Anyway, <coughs> my heart goes out to um, Miss McGowan's family. My heart goes out to Tony's family. You know, they did what they could. You know, um, they loved their son, and they tried to get him help, and he didn't, you know, he didn't take his medicine. They tried. My heart goes out to him, you know. They tried. But he um, wouldn't take his medication, and this is what happens. When um, you have a problem that you won't deal with, you slip farther and farther and farther into the darkness until finally you snap. And when you snap, God help anyone around you. Um, same thing with Columbine, same thing with... Uh, Virginia Tech, same thing with what happened um, in uh, Europe and a couple of schools there. Uh, just people don't get it um, and uh, allow themselves to sink deep into the darkness until finally it consumes them. And I don't ever want to be in that place. You know, uh, I found myself in a spot where I may have gotten into that place, and I realized it, and I went, and I seeked help. I mean, there is a, there is a point when this starts to happen, where you realize that it's happening. And then you can get yourself help, or you can just ignore it, and it's going to get a whole lot worse. Um, and then, you know... I thought I was dying. I mean, I I had an anxiety disorder that hit me so fast. I didn't. Yeah. It was like one day I'm fine, the next day I can't sleep, everyone's out to get me, blah, 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 blah. And I knew something was wrong. I went to the hospital several times, like three or four times in a week before I finally got myself some help. But I was at least smart enough to realize that what was happening to me was something wrong. And... I got help, and I took the help, and I followed the rules. This guy didn't. And it's his own insanity and his own problems that caused this. It's not religion. It's not even fundamentalism. It is a warped, perverted, you know, a warped, perverted of faith. And I don't even think Christianity had anything to do with it. Or fundamentalism Christianity. He set himself up for this. He did this to himself. You know. Um, and. I just hope his soul's found peace now. I'm just sorry that it. Had to end that way. And. Uh, that's what I've got to say. And. Um, 